All right, so this is chapter one of a new game called After the Curtain Call. So the description of this one is, you are the new electrician of the Goldshine Theater, and so you don't only have to move are acting different. So, kind of excited to get into this. Uh, like I said, it is Act 1, so there's supposed to be more parts coming. I'll leave a, a link to uh, the itch.io, as I usually do, so people can kind of keep track on that and see if other parts come out. When more parts come out, I definitely will be playing more if I like it. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the oh. deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way. Ooh, when okay, that goes down real quick. Oh Where, damn! Then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death. Dreams the rich man of riches and fears. The I'm kind of curious. Read, the what happens? Dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. If dreams I don't keep him on the spotlight. He is, dreams he that feigns and forgoes. Let's go. Oh, okay. Just. Yeah, just instant death, I guess. The king dreams he is king, and he lives okay. in the deceit of a king. So yeah, let's uh, let's not do that. And all the let's keep him <laughs> very lit. Wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Where then is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches and fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams he that feigns and foregoes. Man, this guy likes talking about dreams. Foes, and in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. And I too dream, and behold, I dream I am bound with chains, and I dreamed that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? That is the question. Is told. What is life? Have you ever wondered why we're here? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all life is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. And what is a dream but the absence of thought? And what is a dream but the life huh? of another? That is only lived in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play. Why don't you understand? It uh, is nothing. All these stories are just Play. myths, your subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Okay. Why did you come? <laughs> we have Play nothing to Are you give okay, you. bud? What's happening here? Script. Play your part. Okay, I'm sorry. I will play my part. Don't get mad. I do don't. I don't do well under pressure. I like guess stage fright. Life. Is, is Life a is. Dream. A dream. Okay, bud. Don't know what you're going through, but uh. Maybe not a great time to have an existential crisis. You're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I I need you to do us a favor. Go go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it. Please, it's really important. We're depending on you. All right, you need your radio fixed. I can fix your radio. Ooh, sensitivity really high. Okay, I can't just yeet myself off. Today's the day. 
This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionate, they are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises! Their family has supported small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn! Th that is, if everything turns out fine, of course. I have been practicing theatre since I was six years old, and today, us leg wreckers will rise to the top. I... I'm... I'm getting nervous. I is it too obvious? Maybe just a little bit. Notes and continue practicing the script. I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Wow, so these developers put quite a lot... Can I grab the candle? No. They put quite a lot of effort into this game. Uh, they have, like, speech and everything. Like, that's actually very fascinating. I don't think I'm supposed to come up here yet. No. Yeah, stage is downstairs, but figured I'd uh, just check on that. See if there's any secrets. I don't quite appreciate... What? I don't much appreciate all the uh, ambient noises. Keeping me on edge. Search for the key and access the electrical sources. Okay. Is there a key in this theater? Is it very dark? Okay, so I can't actually go up there. Uh, nothing on the floor. Can't go up here, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm assuming it is in the decoration room. Oh, what? Maybe not? We're looking for a key. It's definitely not over there. God, the ambient noises. I want to say it's... My gamer sense is telling me it's over there, because why else would you go that way? Hello, book. One from five books. Okay. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Okay. Alexius, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him from the... From... Ah. Wow. Words. I'll just start over. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep saw him fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexius passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said when the Roman Empire began, Alexius was the best warrior, from the abilities he had only learnt by watching the others fight. He died during a battle, and it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wound. It is known for a fact he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. How interesting. And what are you? Oh, key. So I have the employee's key. Okay, so I have to go to the main electric. Fix the radio. Look! Two of five! A mystical and horrorful Lovecraftian tale about a kid who, misled by his grandfather's indications, awakens an elder being while making a snowman. Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. The horror version of Frosty the Snowman. That's beautiful. Okay, and then 
the electric room was right here. Wait, what? I thought I got a key from there. Wait, mission. The radio isn't working. Fix the sounds. Main electricity source. You know, I, I, I'd assume that's in electricity, right? How do I use the key I just got? Is that for decorations and not? What? Excuse me? There's one more door upstairs. This way. Oh! Okay. That was mildly frightening. I'd say that means I'm going the right direction. Of course, I can't open that yet. But do I really want to go this close to the Black Abyss? The Tenth Sister, Hail Witch? Oh, the Tenth Sister will hatch. Wow, I read that. So Awful! <laughs> never had the theater for us. And from not having anything, to have the whole Gold Sign Theater, that's a big step right there. That is a big step right there. But has rooms everywhere, and having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decorations, by the way, there's a sphere. Nothing new, I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what play they expect us to make with that thing. Uh, good to know. Do I need to grab anything from in here? Ah, yes I do, a book! Book three of five. This book narrates the life of... Luntian? A mythological creature living in an old Philippine forest in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of narrative fantasy. Luntian seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. I don't know if I'd say that, but... Okay, I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna... Okay, I cannot walk into the abyss. Okay, the radio isn't working. Fix the sound... So, I, I feel like there has to be something in here I have to pick up, right? Right. Okay, this is a puzzle of some kind? Oh. Infusion? Okay. Alright. That was very simple, but, uh... I wasn't sure if I could just go across the outlet or not. Next key. So that is the electricity key. Alright. Is it even possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? No. Even better, is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it coming. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations. So, uh, Hector kind of gives me the EBGBs. Spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. It's 100% his yeah, voice, but, uh, awesome. didn't throw his books around ever don't after. trust it. I'm sure I don't trust it one bit. 
Okay, so yeah, I've been getting those books. Book 4 of 5! So this piece tells the story of the Mayans, who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Is that true? Is that why the Mayans disappeared? It was because of the Aztecs? I don't know. Uh, editor me, throw on screen if that's true or not. Because of this, their souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies, as their religion demanded. Since they didn't reach the sun, they instead became their counterparts, moths, living in the dark and forever searching sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. That is actually very interesting. I don't think I've heard of that before, so I don't know how true that is. Editor me will, uh... Find out and let you guys know. But that is definitely so interesting. Was there a book up here? I don't know if I looked. No, there isn't. But yeah, that is very interesting. I don't know, I, I have a big fascination with uh, mythology. So just hearing tales like that is just amazing. I love it. Oh! Okay, life is a dream. Yeah, that's cool. There's the last book. Ugh. The classic story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. However, in this book in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but that the flute summoned some creature, which ha was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. Book calls this creature, oh, well, I don't know German, uh, Schlagergeist? Schlagergeist. Schlagergeist? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? It very well could be. Oops. Is definitely the wrong way. Up this set of stairs. Yeah, this is a really long hallway. I don't like how ominous that is. from oh okay i did not hide well enough <laughs> holy crap okay we try that again what oh what oh i'm assuming i was supposed to die there okay Wait, uh, I have to go crisscross. Okay, cannot cross lines. Kue? Will it let me? No. Okay. Here we go. My big brain knowledge. Geronimo! Alright, what's happening? Part of me does wonder if you can actually hide from that. I don't know if I'm curious enough to go back, though, and check. Uh, I do not like all the ambient sounds. They do a very good job. Oh! Okay. 
Oh. As I was saying, they do a very good job at making you feel like you're being, like, creeped on. Oh my god. Okay, so thanks for playing. You just completed After the Curt Call Act 1. Life is a dream. I did find all of the books. Uh, I don't know if I found both Easter eggs? Okay, not two Easter eggs. The Easter eggs for Act 2. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that was After the Curtain Call Part 1. So I definitely liked that. I'm going to keep my eye out and uh, see when the next act is coming out. And as soon as that is out, we will do more videos on it. Keep the series going for this. And if you did enjoy watching, please don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. It genuinely does help a lot, and it means a lot to us. And if you like our content in general, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Again, it, it just means so much to us, and we'd really appreciate any support. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye